Good morning everybody, welcome back to another Quick Hit Review video. It is the 17th of July and we have half a dozen currency pairs that I'm going to go through. Uh, we do have news out today though, we have Pound News out at 9.30 and CAD News out at 1.30 GMT plus one. Um, apart from that, the first currency pair that I'm looking at is the Euro Yen. So we had a swing in the market, we have a directional move We've been talking about this in the live rooms um, for quite a while now, and we have a potential flag pattern. One, two, three, four, and if we bring this down to the lowest point, we can't actually do that because it means that the second touch is not here. So we need to leave it where it is, just there. Uh, let me get that right and it still means that we technically haven't had the breakout because these lines need to be on two touches um, but it is looking like we are breaking out but we haven't actually had the confirmed breakout as yet let's go down to the 240 markets just simply coming lower here and we are trending but not very nicely move lower outside return move lower outside return move lower outside return uh, if we make this move lower let me go back to the 240 and um, i want to see this wick violated here and ideally the 120 100 um, but this is a potential for us to look at now if we go to the euro aussie uh, i've been looking to short this for quite some time because of this head and shoulders so left shoulder it's a double headed head and shoulders right shoulder and then we have a clear violation so this violated that level and we've now made a new low so this is the entire outside return simple trend continuation trade either first chance second chance or third chance entry here if you don't know what that is go ahead onto the educational material onto the website um, it is all there for you and explains in detail with the rules how to use this strategy and get involved with the trade just drop down to the 240 and there really isn't a great deal here so really just looking for a pullback and a shorting opportunity on that currency pair uh, then we have the euro dollar we have an advanced pattern that i have been waiting uh, to short uh, let me try that again euro dollar okay i keep putting in euro aussie euro dollar so uh really isn't a great deal here to be honest with you we're down within this structure level just here so it, it is plausible we could see a reaction particularly at the 112 psychological number let's go down to the 240 and you can just make out our double top or our advanced pattern here let's just go down to the 60 where we can see it properly in fact let me go to the 240 yeah 60 60 is where it is so here on the 60 i'm just going to keep the wicks highlighted and we're going to look for a rotation pattern within those wicks and we have x to a a to b b to c cd completion was around here However, I will only enter this if we have a rotation pattern. The completion was the 886 and you can see that it's valid now. So if you do take these trades without any confirmation, well, it's that market for you. Uh, personally, I'm going to be waiting for the market to come down into the highlighted area and look for some sort of reversal pattern. We then have the Euro New Zealand um, looking short on all these currency pairs including the euro new zealand euro new zealand has another head and shoulders now we have the head and shoulders looking like this another double headed head and shoulders with the pullback and the move lower now that can be the head and shoulders my personal view is that it's from here and we do have a larger distance to go lower but pay attention to this we are at this internal structure level which is at the 16300 psychological number so um, we could see a little bounce here or we could see a push straight through um, and the little bounce could actually be this double bottom right here which is actually at market 
targets for me personally. Now this is not a trade I'm in. There isn't quite enough structure, but targets would be up here. Um, I'm going to wait and see if this provides a little bit more confirmation because overall I'm looking bearish, um, but we could see a small correction here up to that structure level. So I'm just going to be keeping an eye on that. Uh, pound dollar, still looking short, have been looking short for quite a while now. And uh, if I put a structure level on at our low just here, we haven't violated it. Uh, but if we draw out the trend, move lower, outside return, move lower, outside return, move lower, outside return. We're waiting to violate the structure level. Let's go to the 240. Here on the 240, it looks like we could end up having that violation. And if so, I'm going to be looking for shorting opportunities. Let's go to the 15, sorry, the 60. Here on the 60, we've already shorted it, already shorted it. So if you want to be a little bit more aggressive, uh, we can highlight the outside return, look for a pullback, and then look for that shorting opportunity. Let's go and take a look at the 15. Let me just go back out to the dailies and see where we could potentially come lower to. Oh, well, there's our next structure level. So there is a lot of room to the downside here. So if you wanted to be aggressive and get involved early, using the 15 or the 60 would be the thing to do. Last currency pair, Pound New Zealand, performed well for us yesterday, this. Um, still looking short. Still looking short. There is an awful way for this thing to go lower down to this point. There is literally still hundreds of pips up for grabs here. So moving still very directionally. RSI is no longer oversold. We saw the little bounce back that we... Uh, that was expected a little bit of relief and um, we have now just or we are in the, no we have actually just violated that level so no reason here to look for a simple pullback trade and look at the market coming lower let's go down to the 60 the 15 okay on the 15 nothing simply waiting for a pullback trade so a pullback and then a chance to get short that's all half for now guys um, as usual if you're registered for the signals you will receive them throughout the day and um, if you're within the chat i will see you in there